welcome, welcome to, to Wildcat Wild News. News. My name is Brianna. And my name is Jonathan. West High Girls Basketball will be held after school at West Middle all week from 3.30 to 5.30. Opus Choir will be in Ames, Iowa on Thursday. Now here's a segment on PBIS, Lunch Behavior. expect you guys to be, you know, pick up your messes and not, you know, make big, you know, messes that we have to clean up and the janitors have to clean up and pick up all your food. Yep, because you guys are old enough to do your own stuff. Lego League meets on Thursday, Mr. Fordyce's room at 217 at 315. With the weather becoming colder, be sure to dress appropriately to be outside for a lunch recess. Here is a segment on Red Sands. Tell us a little bit about the Red Sand Project. The Red Sand Project was started by Molly Gockman. Um, the Red Sand Project is to raise awareness about human trafficking. You, Each student who participates will get a little package like this. Inside there's a poster with a picture of Molly Gockman on it doing a red sand project and there's facts on that. There's a little bag of red sand and then there's a card that tells you how to do it. The red sand project is to raise awareness about human trafficking. There are 36 million people worldwide that are currently enslaved by human trafficking. Human trafficking can either be labor trafficking or sex trafficking and it happens to girls and boys. Um, the red sand, you fill in a crack in a sidewalk, you take a picture of it, and you post it on social media using hashtag red sand project. The red sand in the cracks resembles not letting anyone slip through the cracks of human trafficking. Um, I'm Sarah Waldner, by the way. I go to West High. I'm part of the Sulean Coalition Against Human Trafficking, and I am co-leader of the Sulean Teens Against Human Trafficking. I once upon a time went to West Middle as well. Um, I would like you guys to help participate this year in the Red Sand Project to raise awareness about human trafficking because it does happen in our community. The average age to be picked up by a trafficker is 11 to 14, which is middle school age. And um, one in four runaways get picked up with, within 48 hours of running away in Siouxland. Human trafficking is either labor trafficking or sex trafficking. Um, labor trafficking, a lot of people who are labor trafficked are like used in nail salons. We have a few nail salons here in town who are known for human trafficking people here and using them as workers for little or no pay. Um, we also have a lot of prostitution and sex trafficking, which... What are some of the people who, I guess, are at risk of being trafficked? Um, in the Sicilian Coalition Against Human Trafficking pamphlet, there's a list of people and some of them are females. Runaways and homeless people, youth in foster care or aging out of foster care, LGBTQ, LGBTQ youth, people traumatized by sexual or physical violence, 
mentally impaired or mentally ill people, people with addictions, people from backgrounds of poverty, abuse, addiction, or violence, people living in poverty, and foreign nationals, especially those without legal status. What inspired you to help with the Coalition of Human Trafficking? Um, A woman came and talked to my health class. It was my sophomore year. And she was talking about, like, all this human trafficking stuff, and it just broke my heart to hear that children are being taken and used for someone else's profit. And I joined the Sealing Coalition because I wanted to help make a difference, and that was March of last year, and I'm still doing stuff. Since then, I've started the Sealing and Teens Against Trafficking group, and I plan on continuing this until I can't anymore. Refugees, immigrants, girls, and others are most at risk of being enslaved, spending their lives being exploited for the profit of others. To recognize them, Red Sand Project invites you to take the time to find and fill a sidewalk crack with red sand, and then to document your sidewalk transformation on social media using hashtag Red Sand Project. These interventions remind us that we can't merely walk over the most marginalized people in our communities, those who fall through the metaphoric cracks. These people these simple act of placing sand in a crack or posting a photo on social media may seem small, but small actions can help raise awareness of the issues facing those who are overlooked. Thanks for watching, watching. and tune in next, next week. week.